One of the toughest part of those shelter in place orders has been the restrictions placed on hospitals. Maybe you've got a loved one who was sick at the hospital. You can't visit them for whatever reason. But Hannah Davis joins us live to explain how one husband and son decided to get a little creative, Hannah. Yeah, Mark, I absolutely love this story. I'm already getting tweets in because we aired it last hour. People love it too. So Joanna, I met her via Twitter. She always tweets me these beautiful photos of her dogs, these two great Pyrenees that bring so much joy as service dogs across the area. Well, right now, Joanna needs that love and support and her family, two-legged and four-legged, they got really creative and they showed up. Joanna Herrera is a loved woman, adored by her husband, her son, and her two fur babies, Fiona and George. I was like running a little daycare for two old children. <laughs> Never want to settle down. Joanna and her white giants are known all over North Texas. Therapy dogs who bring healing and joy wherever they go. I mean, they miss her so much. Uh, it's just uh, really hard for them without her. They just don't understand what's going on. Joanna is recovering from ulcer surgery at Baylor Scott and White and Grapevine. And because of the pandemic, there are no visitors. And that's just been very heartbreaking for her, so frustrating. And she's just quite lonely in a hospital without them. So Joanna's husband came up with an idea. Get Fiona and George to at least see their mom. The whole family stood outside the hospital lobby and Joanna's nurse skipped her own lunch break to bring Joanna to the other side of the glass. The best medicine anyone could prescribe. The biggest smile I could ever see on her in the longest time. I've just never seen her that happy in a long, long time. I just see with every nurse there, they just stop and you know treat every patient you know, you know, as their best friend, as someone that they care about. And it, it's just wonderful that they're willing to just help us in any way possible. It was the boost everyone needed, two-legged and four. And a little preview of what's to come for this family and all of us when we can be close again. I can't wait for her to be out of the hospital and we're just making plans for all kinds of things we want to do together. Yeah. Really just have a whole new experiences that we want to share together. So bravo to Joanna's husband, John, and her son, David, for pulling that off. And they really want to take their hats off to the nurses, including that one nurse who skipped her lunch break to take Joanna down. I'll tell you, it's that attention to detail that these healthcare workers are giving folks right now that makes all the difference. And we cannot say thank you enough. Kara, over to you. Yeah, and I love reading her tweets. Um, we know we know the relationship there. The bond between, um, you know, pet mom and pets is really tight between them. So I get it, Hannah. Thank you. Six twenty.